In the last video, we talked about why financial independence or partial financial independence is a very interesting thing and a very inspiring thing for most people. I believe it's why the vast majority of people invest in the first place. If you really think about it, that is ultimately what you and a lot of other people are aiming for is the ability to not have to work or to be able to do something else with your time that you would prefer rather than being forced uh, to go to work and earn money. And I'm not saying force. I mean, you're obviously it's optional for you to go to work, but you need money generated by your work uh, in order to live your life. So financial independence is just simply not having to trade your time in for money. Money comes in no matter what you spend your time doing. Unfortunately, most people do not reach financial independence. This is a survey from 2018 that measured the financial uh, state, essentially, of older adult households. And so what they defined as older were basically people that were 60 or above. And they broke those down into six different buckets or percentiles. So basically this would represent the poorest 20% of adult households, and they defined uh, poor by the household net value of their total net worth, right? So this would include uh, their house, things like that. So basically net worth is all of your assets divided by, or excuse me, subtract all of your liabilities. So for example, let's say you had a house that was worth $300,000 and you also had a mortgage that was $300,000. If you take 300,000 minus 300,000, you get to zero. And that is where Unfortunately, the lowest 20% of households have a net worth, at least as of 2018, of $0. The total household income, the median total household income of this group was less than $17,000 per year. The next basket were those in the 21 to 40th percentile. They had a household median net income of $27,240 and a total net worth of still under 40,000. So this would be like having the same $300,000 in assets and say 260,000 worth of debt, they would have a net worth of 40,000. So if you exclude the home from these people, the net worth was only 2,000. And what's perhaps most surprising is even once you get into the middle, so the average 60 plus year old, 41 to 60th percentile, the median household income was $40,000 per year. Their total net worth was $150,000. But if you exclude their homes, which is basically this is the only ge income generating assets that they would have since the home is not an income generating asset, is only $16,300. And even when you get up into these higher above average 60 year olds, the net worth is still surprisingly low. Of course, the net worth, if you include the house, was around 369000 which is certainly getting up into bigger numbers. But if you take away the house, the median person, age 60, has only been able to accumulate $130,000. But it really is not until this 80th and above percentile that people have really been able to start generating a substantial amount of financial assets. In the top 20th percentile, the non-house related assets are nearly 500,000 or were nearly 500,000 as of 2018. And then the top 10% had a median non-house net worth of $1.3 million. And after you watch this course, and if you put the principles that this course will show you into action, I am very confident that you will eventually be on the right side of this bar. It does not take a ton of smart decisions to be made, you know, for the next, for the first couple of decades, right? If you're say 20 for sure, uh, even in your 30s, even 40s or 50s, there are things that you can do to put yourself to the right side in the top 20th percentile of total net worth. And there are certainly things in this course that I'm not going to cover. I'm not gonna cover everything that you would ever possibly be able to know. Um, but I think what I will do in this course is cover all the things that you absolutely need to know in order to generate that level of wealth. But before we get there, we need to examine 
why is it that most people, the average 60 year old, is not able to generate any, basically any amount of sustainable long-term wealth outside of their home? It really boils down to just two basic factors, and we'll talk about those in the next video.